Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. Here's to you, 33. That's right, raise your glass to Rafa Nadal, the master of the ATP Masters 1000 title count. The Spaniard claimed his 33rd Masters 1000 title over the weekend at the Rogers Cup in Toronto, moving him three clear on the ATP's all-time count just over 13 years after claiming his first Masters 1000 title in Monte Carlo, Nadal won his 33rd by defeating Greece's Stefanos Tsitsipas, 6-2, 7-6, for his fourth title in Canada and his ninth Masters 1000 title on a hard court. It was a special day for Nadal because it marked his first Masters title on a hard court in nearly five years. To honor the occasion, here's a rundown of stats related to Nadal's achievement. Most Masters titles all-time. With 33, he is clear of Novak Djokovic on the all-time list, and here are the current top five. Nadal with 33, Novak Djokovic with 30, Roger Federer has 27, Andre Agassi at 17, and Andy Murray, 14. Now, most Masters finals all-time. Did you know that only 14 players have participated in more than two Masters 1000 finals? And yes, Nadal leads all players with a remarkable 48 final appearances to his name. Here are the top five players in terms of all-time Masters 1000 finals played. Nadal with 48, Federer has 47, Djokovic a close 44, Murray has 21, Ferrer with 7. Now what about the most Masters 1000 wins? When we look at all-time wins and winning percentage at the Masters 1000 level, we can be even more impressed. Nadal's 357 wins are most all-time, just ahead of Roger Federer's 355. Here are the top five. Nadal has 357, Federer 355, Djokovic has 315, Murray 212, and Agassi has 209. What about the best Masters 1000 winning percentage? Here are the top five winning percentages with, not surprisingly, Nadal on top. He's at 357 and 77. Winning percentage is 82.25. Djokovic, 315 and 71. His winning percentage, 81.60. Federer is 355 to 101. His winning percentage, 78. Andre Agassi, 209 and 73. Winning percentage for him, 74. Pete Sampras, 190 and 70. His winning percentage is 73. And what about the best Masters 1000 finals winning percentage? When it comes to that in Masters 1000 finals, Nadal is king as well. He has a 68.75 winning percentage, which just edges Novak Djokovic percentage of 68.18. But it hasn't just been Nadal who's dominated the Masters 1000 level. It has been Novak Djokovic, Roger Federer, and even Andy Murray has contributed. Did you know that since the start of 2009, the big four have combined to win 72 of the last 87 ATP Masters finals? It's crazy. It is a remarkable stat, and we can probably expect more domination from the big four in the future. Since 2009, Djokovic has 26 Masters titles, more than any other player. Nadal has 21 in that span. And we expect Djokovic to be pushing Nadal in the weeks and months and even years to come. Will Nadal be the Masters of Masters when it's all said and done? Or will Djokovic push back and force us to shoot a new video about this? <laughs> We're going to be watching at the ready, so stay tuned, tennis fans. And there you have it, five stats that prove Nadal is truly the master of the masters, at least for now. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.